a lot of people have been asking lately of for a microphone recommendation for low budget, micro budget filmmaking. And the microphone that I think probably has the best bang for your buck uh, for budget filmmakers is the Audio Technica 875R. Uh, I think this one is a little better value than the very popular Rode NTG2. The NTG2 it does get good sound, but there's a few issues with it. Uh, the first one is anytime you have a uh, shotgun microphone, any kind of directional microphone, it's most sensitive in the direction that you're pointing it, but it's also sensitive to the rear. Um, the uh, NTG2 is very sensitive to the rear, and where that becomes a problem is if you're in a live space, uh, especially with a low ceiling, uh, hard surfaces, that microphone tends to get a lot of reflected sound from the ceiling uh, or the walls. The Audio-Technica 875R, on the other hand, was originally designed for ENG work as a on-camera microphone. And because of that, it has a little bit wider pattern, but they, they've really focused their energy on eliminating as much of that sensitivity to the rear of the microphone as they could. So how that helps us out as micro-budget filmmakers, because we tend to shoot not on big sound stages, but we shoot in homes. So I'm in a bedroom right now, uh, it's carpeted, there's no texture on the walls or ceiling, it's all just hard surfaces, and I have the back of the microphone pointed in the corner of the room where both the walls and the ceiling make, meet. And that has a tendency to reflect a lot of boomy sounds uh, in that area. This microphone doesn't tend to do that. It's really good in small spaces like this. The microphone's also very compact. It's a very short microphone, even though it's fairly directional. So it's easy to get up over your talent when booming it uh, without bumping it in the ceiling or getting it into the shot. So indoors, a great microphone, especially for the $160 price point. Uh, one of the issues that, uh, that some people have is they're using consumer equipment and you need to go, it's an XLR input, but it requires phantom power. And if you don't have a mixer or something like the Zoom H4n or one of the other recorders that can supply phantom power, you're going to need to do something to get that uh, power of the microphone and get the signal into the camera. Uh, you can use an iRig Pre to do this and it works great. Uh, I've used this microphone run directly into the camera through the iRig Pre and it's it's a pretty good uh, solution. Uh, the microphone being 160, the iRig Pre is about 40 bucks and the adapter doesn't cost that much or you can just uh, hack it. Uh, if you want to see more information on the iRig Pre uh, I have, it's kind of a boring video, but it is full of good information. I'll put a link over here somewhere. Um, so let's kind of get back to why I think this is a great microphone for micro-budget filmmakers. The NTG2, back to that, is uh, it does have a the option of using a battery, so it doesn't need uh, a you know, phantom power. Uh, it can run off of phantom power or the battery. But that microphone is also have a really weak signal strength. So if you're using that directly to a camera, for instance, the signal strength is so low that you have to crank the preamps, preamps in the camera way up. Uh, and you're basically taking a preamp that's kind of mediocre at best. And, and using it in a way you really don't want to. Uh, you'd be a lot better off with that microphone to use the iRig Pre or a good quality mixer. The one I use is a Shure FP33. I've had this thing for like 20 years. Thing works great. Um, the Audio-Technica 875R on the other hand is a really 
powerful microphone. It gives a really strong signal. So you don't have to crank your preamps up that much. Uh, right now I have it run directly into the Zoom H4n. It's getting power from that uh, recorder. I could also take that output from the H4n and go directly into my camera. Uh, there's really a lot of options. Uh, I do recommend if you, I know, you know a lot of you guys are on a budget, but if at all possible, go from consumer grade electronics as far as uh, audio, consumer grade audio, and go to more professional gear. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to cost you a ton of money, but once you get from an eighth inch, you know, mini jack to an XLR uh, type input and keep everything on that more pro level, you're going to find a lot more options and equipment and a lot more options that can really make your film stand out. A lot of the major problems with uh, YouTube videos, for instance, are they're plagued with bad sound. And instead of going out and buying that new fancy camera that's just a little minute better than what you have, uh, my recommendation is to spend money on some good audio equipment. Once you have good audio equipment, it's not going to go out of style, you know, next week and you'll be using it for a long time. So this is um, a pretty good, gives you a pretty good indication of what kind of sound you can achieve with the Audio-Technica 875R. Uh, this boom is basically just out of the shot. It's about arm length away from me. And again, I'm in a carpeted room there's a nine foot ceiling. All the uh, surfaces are hard surfaces. There's no acoustic treatment in this room at all. And the back of the mic is pointed right at the corner of the room. So I hope this is helpful and gives you guys an idea of why I've chosen this microphone for micro budget filmmaking as my recommendation. Uh, if you have any more questions on the iRig Pre, again, watch the video. And I will be using this mic on other videos and also I just built a boom pole shock mount the other day. I'm still testing it out and seeing if there's any kind of tweaks I can do to improve on it. But I'm totally amazed at how well this thing works. It's $16. You can build it in less than a minute. Um, so I, hopefully I'll have that video up soon also if you guys are interested in that. All right, that's all I have for you today. Wow, I'm going to say something. I don't even know what to say. Mm, I don't know. I don't have anything. If you have a good, how about this? Leave a comment if you have something really cool that I should say at the end of my videos. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.